Hey there, me again. So uh, I'm looking at Yammer and uh, I can see that James Jarek has asked a question after some citation software, e.g. EndNote. Anyone know of DET software that may be available? I can't find any on Software Catalog Tar. Jason's come in and answered and said, hey, if you've got a Chromebook, you can get the MyBib extension, which is available. It's currently blocked on Windows devices, um, but you might be able to apply to have it whitelisted so that you can put it on Windows devices. So um, there are a few different extensions that are available for doing citations on browsers. Um, but did you know that Microsoft Edge, which is the other browser that we have on our Windows devices, uh, already has citations built into it? Uh, there's a bunch of things I've been highlighting in, our, in my latest videos about things that are in Edge that you don't find in Chrome by default. So um, definitely worth looking at and uh, let's take a quick look at what citations in Edge looks like and how you use it. Um, I'm writing a report here, research on the greenhouse effect. I found something really interesting at the NASA site that I want to quote in my uh, research that I'm putting together. So if I go over to the NASA site, um, I can see that there's an article here that was from 2008 where they confirmed that water vapor is a major player in climate change. And there's some uh, really good information in here all about that. Uh, and say I want to include um, some information from it. Uh, let's say this little statement here. And I want to copy that and I want to put that into my article. Uh, right there and I now need to really cite this because I am uh, quoting something that's uh, on the internet and I want to uh, make sure that I am acknowledging that uh, in my research paper. So how do you do this? You go um, into your website and up the top here you've got the three little dots. You've got an option that says more tools and, and under more tools there's something that says cite this and I'll show you a quicker way to get to this uh, if it's something that you're going to be using regularly. Uh, fairly shortly. So you go to cite this and you've got a choice of different formats of uh, citations. Um, so depending on if you go to Harvard University or, or different places, uh, there's the International Standards IEEE. Uh, it'll give you the full citation information here that you can copy into your um, research document later on. Uh, it asks you to edit some details in here. So the source type, is it an academic paper, is it a newspaper? It's a website. Uh, who was the author of this website? I better find that out. Uh, there she is, Catherine Hansen. So we'll put that in here. Catherine Hansen. And uh, that's the detail. The date of it, I saw back at the top, was 11.17. Let's just scroll this down a little bit so we can see it better. Um, so it's actually day, month, year. So it's 17. 11 2008 um, there's the detail website name I can put some annotations in there if I want to and when I'm ready I can just click this little copy button up here and it copies that to the clipboard and I can jump back to my document and wherever I want to put my citations in uh, just move myself out of the way because I'm annoying and there's my citation uh, and it's got a footnote of one. I can add, attach that to the actual quote and so on. Um, so that is um, citations that are built in. And you can see if you hover over this, it actually tells you this is what I'm going to paste in there. And if you change the format to Harvard, uh, you're going to get it in that format and so on. Uh, so that's built into Microsoft Edge. How do you actually get to it more easily? Like I said, if you click on here on the... Um, three dots again and you go to settings what you can do is choose appearance over here scroll down a little bit and these are the different buttons you can turn on and one of them is the citations button and it's off by default if I turn that on it appears up here as this little guy so now I can go to whatever website and just click that and I've got all that detail hope that was of use and I'll see you in the next video